Hi everybody, welcome back to another Sean's World video. Now in today's video I've got to finish off the patio and the stonework at the front of the cottage and I've got lots of exciting new projects. Join me in a mo. Nearly done, so these three stones here have got to be rolled forward, bed them in on some concrete, move them back and then haunch up the front of these slabs. Now I've left this end sort of unfinished so I can extend it that way when I deal with that area to the left. But for now, we've got a nice seating area, table and chairs, maybe some pot plants and some other stuff, but we're a little way off that yet. But until then, it looks neater. So I think you'll all agree that it's tidied the front of this whole property up immensely. And it was well worth the time. It was a lot of hard work, but hey ho, if you don't work hard, you don't get things. It hasn't cost too much money. Uh, the landscape, fabric, which are plastic bags basically from the compost, they was free, you know, after we used the compost. The stone's pretty reasonable, these rocks were free, they were in the garden, and uh, mainly it's just labour. Right, let's get this done and move on to the next project. So this is as far as I'm going to go with this epic landscape makeover. Now as explained before I will extend it that way once I come to dealing with that area but for now this landscaping is done. Woohoo! <laughs> Don't it look better? Well let me know does it? So before I start on any other projects I've just set me little jet washer up. I'm not going to clean top to bottom or anything like that. I just want to do a test area at the bottom of the cottage just to see how easy all of the uh, the moss and all the stains come out of the stone because as discussed previously I'm thinking about painting it, maybe rendering it. We're still like that at the moment but we'll probably go down the route of painting it so I just want to see how these are going to clean up so I've just set up a little jet washer and uh, I'm just going to do a little test area here. Well, it's certainly getting it off. I mean, I am going to, I am going to use something else like a wire brush or a machine to get rid of the stubborn bits. But this will remove all the initial dirt, you know, and show up all the defective parts that I need to fill. So quite addictive. This once you start, you don't really want to stop. So yeah, I'm just going to get this section done. But let's speed things up a little bit. As you can see there is quite a difference. Now what this allows me to do, two reasons really why I'm doing this, the first one being it needs cleaning and I can inspect the stones closely while I'm jetting them to see where the defects are and what needs filling. The second reason is it cuts down on chemicals, I don't need to use any harsh chemicals on the surface that are going to go into the 
the ground and then consequently into the pond so it cuts down on chemicals you know and I can see the, the spots that need a little bit more elbow grease maybe with some um, wire brushes and stuff like that so yeah it's a worthwhile job it gives me a little break as well because as you know <laughs> I've had a few things going on in the last week so yeah I think I will proceed with this being as this area is looking rather neat now so let's speed things up again that bottom half of that cottage up rather nice now it hasn't cost me anything only a bit of time so until the budget picks up a little bit I think I'll carry on I'm just gonna clean that area there because it looks rather unsightly next to that lovely clean stonework there so done the steps as well so yeah let's get that jet washed off I told you it was addictive I want to jet this bit off now let's see whether I can get that as clean winding me up for ages. so carried away the battery ran out <laughs> I was working for probably at least another hour anyway I've got so much done that I'm gonna finish off these different sections so let me show you what I've done I think you can see to the left and to the right of there how well that's come up and I've done around the window there's a bit in between where the rope is that's got to be done in a moment uh, and then I must get that mortared in and then over here I ended up doing the doors inside and out they were absolutely rotten ready for paint and either side of those doors you can see to the left the stones are clean to the right that's how they was before so I'm going to do the bit by this little step ladder and I'm going to do the section of the wall at the end everything I can do from ground level and then I will get that window cemented in yeah we got another rain rainstorm coming I think a bit later on but I think just about to have time to do that so this is the before 
take a good look because it won't look like that in a moment. So the advantages of using a pressure washer over a shot blaster is it's a bit more controllable. Uh, with a shot blaster sometimes it takes out a little bit more than you actually need. With this you can sort of nibble away at it to the point where any defective stuff will come away pretty much straight away. But you can't actually dislodge anything that should be there. So this is why I've chose this sort of method for what I'm doing at the moment. And because the little jet washer only cost me two euros at a vid grenier. Now I've had it quite a few years, so I've had my money's worth out of it. So really this whole cleaning project has cost me solar power from the sun, nothing, and two euros. And of course a little bit of labour. I think you'll agree, whether you like to see the stones or whether you want it painted or rendered, I think we'll all agree. The fact is it looks much, much better, so... Yep, this is why I'm doing it now. It gives the building a chance to dry out because it's still the summer. We've still got the sun. Even though it's started to pour down there. <laughs> but never mind, I'm going to proceed. You only get wet once. So let's carry on. Yeah, I think they call that sods law. The second you say anything about anything electrical, how marvellous it's done for such a little price, it gives up the ghost, which this one did. But I have another plan. I had another one. That I bought at a boot sale. So I bought an exact same model so I could interchange things. It's got a little bit of a leak. I think I'll get away with it. Yeah, make do a mend. Right, let's get jetted. Fingers crossed. Oh well, that's blown the budget. That's pushed it up to seven euros because that one was five, so. I find when you're doing large areas, it's best to work in a crisscross fashion. So up and down and then left to right or vice versa. That way you cover the area more accurately and without leaving anything. So here you go, quick update. I've jetted the whole facade of the barn and the cottage as far as I could reach from the ground really. So I'm gonna set a scaffold up. Not today though because I'm a little bit wet. Next time I get the scaffold out, I'm going to work my way along with this and just carry on cleaning. But wow, what a transformation. There's definitely a discussion to be had whether or not I'll paint it or render it now. Maybe when Sam gets back in, we'll, uh, we'll have a chat about it. The jury's still out. It's definitely brought out the beauty of those stones. What do you think, Tom? Yeah, I mean, night and day, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you've been out here in the pouring rain all morning, didn't you? So, like, credit to you. Yeah, it's all right. Like I say you only get wet once, but in this case, I think I got wet about five <laughs> times. So that's the before. And that's what they're coming up like. Now, I knew they was, you know, nice underneath. But, uh, you know, if I do come to paint it, all these big, lovely stones won't be painted or rendered whatever I choose to do it'll be it'll be all this really that section that section this section it doesn't look too bad but I'm still not 100% happy with the cement pointing that they've done but you know in the scheme of things I've got a few other things to be doing so whether or not I paint it this year in the spring <laughs> we don't know I'll have a chat with Sam. Right, cup of tea time, Tom. <laughs> I think I need to, well, you need to be blasted off with this, didn't you? This is covered in I'll tell you what, I'm sand gonna take, and I'm going to take bits this off, hang it up, and jet it off, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you've just been doing dirt biking or something. <laughs> it's not too bad because the weather's okay, but this is not a job I'd like to do in the autumn or winter, so that's why I'm doing it now. I'm well aware there's other things that need doing. But sometimes you just got to tidy up and clean. Oh, 
Who needs a washing machine, eh? Right, if I stand up against the wall, do you want to hose me down? There we go. Right, time for a cup of tea time. Check your nose kitties. Kittens are doing just fine. Right, I am off for my daily jog and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.